Hey, what's up guys? Out today with the 30 cal Oregon and the new JSB 50.15 grain 30 cal knockouts. See if we can get some uh, ground squirrels today. Spend a little bit of time painting these things up. Let's see if we can knock these guys out and see how these perform in the field. I'll be back. Before we get started with the heart of the video, let's go over the air gun that I'm using for this video. In case you guys don't know, this is my AGT Aragon 30 caliber. It is tuned now for 90 foot pounds instead of 85. I get roughly 55 shots at that power setting using the Huma regulator with an extra plenum. This gun has work done by Utah Air Guns. They did a beautiful job dipping this gun. As you can see, the lightning strikes in the stock and on the Picatinny rail. Also, one of the best features of this gun is not just the looks, but also the arc and scope that it wears. It's the 4 to 16 by 50 Gen 2 mil. I simply love these scopes. This gun is spot on. With this ammo, it's super accurate and I just don't miss. Let's go ahead and get into the video guys. Enough about the air gun. In this video, I'm going to add a ghost clip of the reticle to show you exactly how I'm holding. This gives you an idea of the hold under. The next eight squirrels will be taken at the same distance of 48 yards. This berm is infested with ground squirrels, as you can see. One less to live. Let's take a look at the slow motion. Can you guys see the difference between fast motion and slow motion? These knockout slugs pack a wallop. Wow, look at that impact. <laughs> Dropped him right in his tracks, guys. Look at these hits up close. They're devastating. Ew. Here's another guy at 48. Look at the damage. As of the making and release of this video, these JSB knockouts are now available. And based on their performance, you guys better hurry up and buy some, as I will be buying a lot of these slugs. This is the last shot at 48 yards. The focus isn't quite clear. Oh, but you know I have the HD version. Wow. All right, this guy's at 55 yards. Notice the holdover change. Dead on, guys, dead on. This shot is at 80 yards. Not only do I want you to notice the elevation change, and of course the impact, but watch this next guy at 55 yards. Shots like this are possible because I'm using an arc and scope which has zero stop. Going from click values in elevation back to zero stop, then using hold under, it allows you to get to know your gun and your trajectory. 
the stuff that you see me doing in videos, I don't wake up and just go out and start making things happen. I practice, I practice, I practice. And that's why shots like that are possible. Good equipment and lots and lots of practice. Knowing my scope in and out and my slugs and my gun allows me to make shots near and far without skipping a beat. That's a double. And here comes another one. This shot at 41 yards and the next shot and the next shot shows you guys just how infested this area is. I swear, after making this video, I need to go buy a lot more JSB knockout 30 cals. Watch how devastating they are. Again. Knockout, knockout. knockout. Ho, 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 ho. These slugs are literally lifting the squirrels. A little high, clip the spine, put him straight down. This guy, unfortunately, I took a shot at and it was not a good shot, but I'm able to quickly dispatch him. Not everything goes perfect in the field, guys. Look at the power. Look at the impact. If you didn't see it, watch this one. I can't believe that guy moved and I still got him. Texas heart shot. Put him straight down. And here we go with the last shot of the video. It's 31 yards. This guy was here. The name of the game is taking these guys out. Any means necessary. Yep, he's done. All right, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know the drill. Hit the subscribe and like button if you haven't already subscribed. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Coming up next will be my review on the AEA brand of air guns, namely the Challenger Pro 22 caliber. You'll know all about it, you'll hear all about it, you'll see all the mods and all the tuning that I've done. So stay tuned for that. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video and reading your comments. See you on the next one.